And now for the main feature this month, we're gonna look at top pixel art from 2017. Actually, we're not gonna look at top pixel art, we're gonna look at my favorites. It's gonna be curated list of stuff that I like. So yeah, take it as a very subjective thing of the kind of artworks that I like, just something to put your eyes on. If you enjoy the same kind of stuff that I do, you might like it as well. We're gonna look at three categories, four, something like that. And it's gonna be divided between illustrations and games. So we're gonna start with illustrations. And I should give a huge disclaimer. This is not Top Illustrations 2017 in general, but only the ones from Pixel Joint and DeviantArt, because those are the kind of places that I have a good overview of the best artworks out there. Nicely organized and I can just review them for the whole year. I'm pretty sure I missed a lot of artworks that just go on Tumblr or Twitter or Reddit or somewhere else. So take it with a big grain of salt. These are my top 10 artworks from DeviantArt and Pixel Joint. Number 10, Barely Exciting Fishing Championship Body Deluxe Edition by Miko Erola, also known as Angry Miko. I just love this piece. As soon as I saw it for the first time, I was like, oh my god, look at this world. The colors are just so little warm, soft things that I could just lose myself in this world. I wish it was a game. Could be fishing for the fish with a bear. Number 10. Number 9, Sand and Blood by Gerardo Quiroz, also known as Kirokaze. Super hard to pick one work from Kirokaze's very prolific amount of works from this year. And the one that struck me most is this Dying Night. I think the animation puts so much into this one. You see the struggling night there and the huge trail of blood. I don't know, just the perspective of the piece is so interesting something you don't see every day. Kirkaz is definitely one of my favorite artists. And yeah, this is his best work in my eyes. Number eight. This is one of the Pixel Dailies, so it doesn't really have a title, but it was done for the hashtag team Rockpool. It's done by Fabian J, also known as Verbeat. His use of colors is just incredible in here. As you can imagine, as an editor of a magazine dedicated to saturated colors, I'm gonna enjoy this a lot. But his skills with anti-aliasing and just cleaning it up pretty much leaves me speechless. Number seven, Weep Shrine by Derek Bukarev, also known as Skittlefuck. So this one could have been even higher, but as uh, the title suggests, it's supposedly a work in progress. I don't think it's ever going to be finished, so I'm taking it as a final work. And a lot of people can just ask, what the fuck is not finished in this image? And you can see some of the tree canopies are not completely cleaned up as, as the rest of the image. But even with that, it just gives it a little bit more of an impressionistic feeling to it. I love it. You got that little bounced lighting underneath the canopies just super lovely work as we're used to from skittlefuck in sixth place love is all by alexis moril also known as mr hk such a peaceful little piece where you wish you were on that swing up there Beautiful centered composition and not centered at the same time with the tree. So very, very nicely balanced. Seems like people really excel at making trees. Beautiful sky, really serene scene from Mr. HK. Number five, perspective piece by John Davis, also known as Sovan Jedi. Why I really love this piece is that from all of the works, in this one I can really feel myself being right in there. A lot of pixel art works often feel kind of flat, like cardboard style, and this one, there's such a big feeling of space, has a lot of depth to it, and it makes sense because it's a piece created to study perspective. It's actually a rework of one of his earlier works that was started as a perspective study, and now we get a remade version and it's 
just brilliant. Number four, it's Mishka by Six VCR. So I don't know the name of the artist. She is just known. Six VCR comes from somewhere Eastern Europe, I think. And this artwork just mesmerized me. As soon as that parallax thing starts to move, I was just blown away. It's just so unexpected and done in such an almost unique way. Yeah, you just feel like you're up in the mountains, especially me since I was hiking in the mountains, in the Alps as a kid. This just feels super beautiful. Especially I like this kind of almost geometric shapes, the shading in the background in the mountains. Beautiful composition, nicely balanced. And what is that square there? I don't know, but it just makes it super mysterious and cool looking and the snow is animated. So yeah, number four, Mishka by 6VCR. We are now in top three and here is scene number 40, The Tomb by Octavi Navarro, also known as Pixelsha. So Pixels Hack is another example like Kyokaze that has a lot of pieces that wow which which one am I gonna choose as my favorite but I think this is a good choice because also Octavio Navarro I think he said that he really likes the Egyptian themes so he really tried to make the best out of creating a piece with this theme and I think he executed it flawlessly. A lot of his artworks have these little small compartments with a lot of characters going on, kind of independent from each other. But this one is just like one scene that just gets pulled together by that huge statue. And there's a lot of storyline, the explorers coming in, the colors are super beautiful and the lighting combination of daylights coming in and explorers lighting it from below. Just beautiful piece of storytelling. Number 2, Monster Cat by RC Medi 2. This is a very recent piece that easily captured my heart because of just the pure imagination that the artist has. It's inspired by some of Romain's favorite artists, people like Miyazaki. And yeah, when you see something like that, I mean, who doesn't like cats? Except the dog people, I guess. But I'm a cat person, so I love this one so much who wouldn't have a huge cat that you can make a fortress out of. Similar to Tavi's style, it just has these characters on it and a lot of storytelling potential. And the nice little simple background with the silhouettes just makes the cat stand out that much more while still being like a complete illustration. It's not even animated, but it still feels so dynamic. Absolutely blown away by this piece. And now for number one, Mystic Bell title art by Andrew Bado, also known as Dark Falls X. This is a huge pixel art piece, a pixel art rendition of a digital art sketch that Andrew did for the game Mystic Bell. And so for the cover art he did, the pixel art version is just stunning. Like I said, these are my favorites, so I'm sure there are a ton of other pieces out there that are in whatever way on the same high level, but I just kind of love this storybook style, full illustration, has a lot of depth to it, great composition, the colors are just gorgeous with the blues and the night scene and the little bit of yellow in there, I don't know, it's just so perfectly, I can just take it as a whole and it just makes me happy to look at it. So I'm gonna award my number one favorite top spot from 2017 in illustrations to Andrew Bado, Dark Falls, Mystic Bell title art. You know, there's something strange about this bird. Like I said, there's so many artworks and so many different styles. So I'm gonna include as well five honorable mentions of artists that I also love that didn't get in the top 10 so far. Just quickly going over them is Discovery by Stas Guy Lunas, also known as their Orange Magic. Another artist from St. Petersburg is Andrei Lyapicho, aka Vaillard, with the new Star Wars dedication. We're still in Eastern Europe and we have The Sound of the Party by Yes I Do. This is artwork 
for the game bunker I think because yes I do just post a lot of art from that game a really beautiful animated piece Restless by Danny also known as Flea also known as Amora and for my fifth honorable mention The Court of the Quixotic Queen by Thomas Feitmeier also known as CNG Mo and this is an insane work you can't even see the details I guess if I zoom in a little it's such a huge work with so many details I can't even imagine how I must have been working on this I'm sure a lot of people would put this one up there in top 10 I love it as well and so that's why it's in honorable mentions on my own list plus CNG Mo is gonna be featured quite some more in the next sections so yeah his talent is definitely not going unnoticed <laughs> <laughs> 